uh, high time at saka digital na ngayon since everything is digital talagang companies need this for collection purposes so acquire thank you very much actually um we'll we'll dive into that a little bit later mm. in terms of like how 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 is the transition to digital payments especially mm. ngayon eh no um tayo ngayon sa NCR lockdown tayo i'm sure mm. other countries abroad are in lockdown too so um you know doing doing online transactions is being is kind of changing how the norm is mm-hmm. um, especially here in the philippines marami na nga rin po nag rise na like gcash i'm sure gcash has a lot of um, of, of users now for payma yeah yung mga ganong mm-hmm. online platforms um, mm-hmm. i'm sure their their usage went up skyrocketed um, in the past year And uh, even Central Bank recognized the remittances from OFWs. Ah. OFWs have reported, uh, uh, the Central Bank report, last 2020, year 2020, uh, reported more than $31 billion. $31 billion. It was $22 billion nung somewhere between May and to August. And then, nung natapos na yung lockdown, pumalo yung remittance to at the end of the year nag 31 billion plus hindi ko lang makuha yung exact numbers but it's somewhere like it was around 30 billion 31 billion plus of remittances dollars ha dollars mhm ang laki mm-hmm. um oh sorry medyo na papasarap na yung kwento natin sir <laughs> ay okay na <laughs> um, right. actually uh, i just want to welcome everybody again thank you for for being here um we're actually live on facebook right now so Uh, for those of you who want to share um, the, the, the episode, feel free to do so. Um, we'll type it in um, in the chat section so that you guys can can go to Facebook and reshare. Um, but before any of that, let me welcome everybody right now. We're, um, we are live, and this is Acquire Live's ninth episode. Uh, we are here to talk about the art of real estate selling. And obviously, with um, with me is our uh, guest panelist, Sir Eric. Um, but let me do a proper introduction for Sir Eric first. Um, Sir Eric, uh, hold on, sorry. So Sir Eric, our um, our host right now is has been in in the real estate industry for more than a decade. For the past 15 years, Sir Eric traveled in the UK, France, Canada, Singapore. Uh, UAE, Japan, Australia, all over the world, even in the U.S., to conduct seminars for for top real estate developers in the Philippines. So, um, from what I understand, like if, if you're in in Century, they send you out um, to, to to different countries to talk about how to sell and and influence other sellers. With all the in- the experience from closing deals and building client relationships, Eric has developed from humble beginnings early in his career as a hotel waiter to become an international sales expert. Today, he is a motivational speaker, international sales trainer, marketing consultant, and real estate investor. His passion is to share more than 20 years of business experience to guide Filipinos overseas, foreign investors, entrepreneurs, and sales professionals worldwide. So everybody, let's all welcome Sir Eric. Hello, Again, uh, yes, thank you, you know, thank you, Riz, and uh, thank you to Acquire for inviting me. Magandang magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Okay, welcome to our live uh, Zoom session. Uh, Curtis, of course, thank you to Acquire for inviting me as your resource speaker. And of course, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you present who are joining right now. Do we have anyone from other countries or all Philippines? So again, welcome to our all our participants. Kayo ang pinakamahalaga sa amin today. And um, we thank you for giving us the time to share some of this, uh, this very important and very timely topic which I'd like to share to everybody so that we can be inspired to move forward despite the challenges and the pandemic that we're encountering right now. Uh, there's a saying that when your purpose is greater than your fears, not no, no crisis can stop you. No crisis can stop us. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, thank you, Ren, sir. Um, it's it's an honor for for us to have you as our guest. So for for everybody who's just new in Acquire Live, um, Acquire Live is is a live webinar episode that we do every uh, twice a month. So this is gonna be the first one for April. We're gonna have another one a couple of weeks time, and we we invite guest speakers such as Sir Eric to help us navigate through you know the different processes, the different topics that we have. Um, from with with today's topic, 
Sir Eric is going to talk about the art of real estate selling and, and you know, tap into his two decades worth of experience and help us. So I guess without any further ado, um, Sir Eric, the, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, you know, and now um, on to our topic. So the, the, our topic for today is called the art of strategic selling. And um, what, we're going, what I'm about to share with you is based on, on my personal uh, experience or real life experience. And I hope uh, some of the insights and, and principles behind real estate selling would be helpful in your day-to-day -day, uh, profession in the world of real estate selling. So I know how it feels when I started in real estate. I wasn't an expert when I started, right? but here I'm going to share some key takeaways, key insights to real estate selling. Okay, let's start. Okay, so so, so let me just, let, let me give you I know if you can you could recognize the picture, no? That's that's me. So that's me uh, in a pic, in the picture. My one of my my first job as mentioned a while ago, uh, I started my career as a waiter and then before, prior to that, I was a service crew at McDonald's, you know, at age 17. So every time when there's a crisis, you always remember how you started. So that's remember how you started. No one is an expert when we all started, right? even me, I'm not a billion sale closer before. We all have our beginnings. So don't worry if you have, if you feel you don't have the experience, you, sometimes you feel down, just remember who you are. Remember how you started. Yeah, just like me when I started, I had no experience, but I had the goal. I have the desire to learn to where I am now. So I was, I always use this uh, as an example. Eh? So remember where, how you started, and that's your basis, how you, how you can move forward. And when I was started in real estate, I didn't have any, I didn't have a car, I didn't have Wi-Fi, I didn't have a PC or even a, a no, any fancy item or gadgets. When I was starting in real estate, the one, this one that you see there in the picture, that's, those were my first uh, equipment. You know? I, I, saved my, I saved money from my last salary uh, in 2003 uh, with a laptop. No? Ganyang kakapal yung laptop ko noon. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and the fax machine. Yun lang. And then every time I'm sending uh, emails to my clients, I have to use dial-up. I don't know if you can dial-up. It's basically uh, an, an, a prepaid internet. Hindi kagaya ngayon, uh, everything is Wi-Fi and digital. Na. I didn't have any fancy gadgets at the time. So... It basically, all I have was my passion, my determination. So my advice is, remember who you are and remember why you started. Yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not my, my first insight to everybody. You maximize whatever you have and give it everything you've got. So even if only I have this equipment, it didn't stop me from closing sales. I didn't have the car. I didn't have an office. I had no clients when I started. So everybody started. So don't forget, every, every billion closer starts has its own beginning. So everyone listening right now in the real estate industry right now, always remember this. You remember your why. Okay. And of course, I'd like to share with you some key principles in sales and marketing. You know? it, because sales, in, in my opinion, is basically 50% skills and 50% mindset. If whatever products you're selling, whatever project or real estate developer project you're promoting, if the, the mindset of the sales is not that ready, you're not that hungry for change, you're not hungry for a better life, it it's really has an effect. So always remember your courage when you had nothing. So the reason why I showed those two pictures you know, when I started, because I remember those days say, when I had nothing. I didn't have the money, I didn't have the car, I don't have all these fancy gadgets when I started. But I had the determination, that hungry, that hungry for change, that hungry for a better life. So this is what I am sharing to everybody. Because the projects and the, that we will be promoting is the just the second part there. The first part is, are you really hungry for change? Are you really going for it? So raise your hands if you, if you agree you know, with what I'm saying. Remember your courage when you had nothing. You had the eye of, eye of the tiger. Don't, it doesn't matter whether you're new or you're, there's a pandemic right now. Your sales are affected. Your, your, your desire to, to be hungry for change and to, for a better life should not change. So this is one of the most important principles in the art of uh, real estate selling. Just like a tiger. No? Always be hungry for success. And 
always remember this, your greatest skills, no matter what happens in the industry or whether there's a there's temporary lockdown or your sales are probably temporarily affected by the pandemic, don't forget your, your skills, your, your greatest income skills in any economy, your marketing skills, your closing skills, your knowledge, your experience is the greatest income skill that you have. Because all of you are listening right now in the real estate sales profession industry. And of course, some of you entrepreneurs are listening right now. Your greatest income skills, always remember this, your knowledge and experience, which no one, no one can take away from you. No crisis can stop it. So, which means that even, even there's a pandemic right now, do you take advantage to improve your skills? Yeah. So what are you doing? What am I doing to improve my skills every day? Or if the skills works, or is it working now? If it's not working, what are you going to do? Okay, so this is very important. Each, each and every one of us has the knowledge and experience. The only question is, what are you doing to continuously develop your income generating skills, which is your knowledge and experience? All right, so these are some of the basic rules in sales. And then, so later on, so when I was starting from um, uh, service crew to hotel waiter, I started selling encyclopedia. So I moved from my comfort zone. I was selling, uh, I was in direct selling. I was doing all this stuff. And then at age 34, I discovered real estate. You know? So I was invited by uh, one of the chairman of a top real estate company in the Philippines. And he, he mentored me in real estate. And now I've been uh, traveling all over the world doing uh, closing deals and for, for different developers as well. Um, that transition, that journey that happened to me is is fifty percent the skills and fifty percent the mindset. Yes, because even if the opportunity is out there right now, you are selling the the best projects right now out there in the market. If you don't believe in yourself and in what you're you're, you're in your mission to uh, educate and to inspire people, it's not going to work. The one of the key factors that made me believe I could close is sales is because I, I believe I firmly believe that I'm doing this not just to make money. Oh, yeah, you might be surprised. I know I'm not I'm not doing this. My mindset was not just to make money anymore, but to help the country. If I close a lot of deals and bring a lot of investors in the Philippines to buy properties and Filipinos to invest in real estate, in my belief, I am helping them i'm inspiring them to own properties and it will help the country it will help their family it will help the future so because that's the key that was my passion then the, the, the commission was only second part of my goal you see because if you're operating on the basis of commission lang and just money it's temporary what if there's a crisis that's affecting us all so that passion that i had that i got to get i got to go out there every day and close deals so that i can help the country i can help filipinos secure a property i can help investors make the right choice because at the end of the day my friends here's a quote i'd like to share Whatever you accept in life becomes your reality. And I'm sharing this to you, from me to you. Because if you believe that you firmly believe in what you're doing, whatever it is you're doing, it becomes your reality. If you don't believe in what you're doing, that also is a reality. Okay, so this is very, very important in the art of selling. You've got to, you cannot sell something that you don't firmly believe. Okay, so don't forget that. All right, next, some, some other quotes I'd like to share with you is that Everyone here in this room, uh, we, we all have a goal, right? So despite the crisis that happened, don't let the crisis affect your goals. The crisis has nothing to do with your goals. Always remember that. Our goal is to achieve your highest potential. So whether you're in business, you're a startup entrepreneur, you are in real estate, a, a new real estate, a newbie, or maybe you've been in real estate for more than five to ten years, the goal is to achieve, just like the you when you see in the, the picture here. This is the Grand Louvre in Paris. There's a glass pyramid, no? That's why you will notice at the top of the pyramid only one percent make it. Oh, oh, these are the investors, the the buyers, or the top performing agents, and the rest don't make it. Ninety percent. Why? Because ninety percent of the popul of the working population, or probably the sales force, they don't believe in their potentials. So I'm here. I'm here to remind all of you. That you, I see your potentials, not just 10 times. Huh? I see your potentials 1,000 times more. You have no idea what you can do to help the country, to help your investors, to help other people. You see? 
So your goal is to achieve your highest potential. Don't ever give up. So whenever you feel that depression is coming in, the sadness is coming in, the crisis is coming in your mind, remember this quote I'm sharing with you. Your, your goal is to achieve your highest potential. You, you, you got to be there at the top, at the 1%. Don't be at the 90% below. Be at the top, always. That's the key to real estate selling. And of course, when, you're, when you have that kind of confidence, you are developing your self-worth. Yeah. Because self-worth is the key to net worth. You see, net worth is when you buy a property. Yes, my friends, you buy, when you buy a property, like for, for myself, when I bought, a, my, I bought my first property at 5 million pesos, for example. So my net worth is 5 million. Okay, if you buy 10 million, then my net, my net worth now is 10 million, 20 million. It doesn't matter how much, you know, you, that's what you call net worth. But the most important is before you go to the net worth, always remember your, it starts with self-worth. How do you see yourself? If you're selling real estate properties, uh, how do you, there are two ways. How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a performer or a strug, struggling salesperson? You know? uh, ito lang kaya ko, this is all I can do. Or no, I, have, I haven't tapped my full potentials yet. So you, got, you have two choices. So I suggest you focus on your self-worth because that self-worth starts is the key to your net worth so that you can close more sales. You can, you can, you can uh, believe that you can close a lot of deals because real estate, it's like the mindset, you know. Um, in real estate, you when you believe in a certain market that it will grow, it will grow you, because you have that vision. It's also the same as a real estate salesperson or as an entrepreneur. You got to believe in yourself, self worth, so that you got the, the confidence, thus the, the eye of the tiger, confidence to do whatever it takes to close that deal. Okay, now some of us would be asking, okay, sir, Eric, how do I handle situations where in the buyer, okay, just uh, sees my, my post or messages or scene zone? I know how it feels. Enough. So there are, th there are times that uh, some buyers would not decide now, but this is, my, this is my advice to everyone. If clients do have no budget today, when they say they, have, don't, have, they don't have any budget today, it doesn't mean that they have no budget forever. Continue to reconnect with them. This is my advice. Continue to reconnect. A minimum when I make a follow-up, a minimum of five. But most, statistically speaking, most agents are, are just making one or two follow-up and that's it. Okay, sir, are you interested? Are you still going to buy? When are you going to reserve? Those are traditional questions. Eh? What I do is when I make a follow-up, I give them a call, give them updates. Oh, sir, there's a promo. Sir, there's a discount. Sir, there's a special term. So there's, you, you, there's a, re or even birthday, no? Greeting or... Maybe you could congratulate your clients. You have something to get back to them in a positive manner, not making a follow-up because you're making kulit. <laughs> okay? or, uh, so don't forget that one. Huh? So this is how I do follow-ups in a very positive way. Reconnect with them because it doesn't if, it, if, it, if they don't buy now, it doesn't mean they won't buy forever. It's not, it just happened there's a crisis right now, but when they recover, they're going to buy again. Because when the time when they're ready to buy, they, you, will be the, you will be the top of mind by your client. All right, so don't, don't give up on them. And of course, uh, another sh uh, sharing no, uh, insights that I'd like to share to everybody. You know, uh, this is called the, what type of relationship are you doing right now? Because it's some, in, in the real estate selling, say, because you might ask, be asking the question is, uh, why are my sales down? Why are my sales not increasing? Or why, is my, why do I have sales before and now I don't have any sales? It's probably, be, you might, want to ponder on this quote which i'd like to again another personal quote which i'd like to share to you what is the difference between short-term and long-term business growth depends on your approach so are you doing long-term or short-term is your approach short-term only or long-term if you go detailed are you doing is your approach is a business transaction or a business relationship yeah when you go to the bank for example i'll use the bank as an example when you go to the bank you make a deposit that's called transaction, done. But when you go to the bank and get a, get a loan, then the bank will give you a priority because you are a, a valid customer once you get a loan approved. Why? Because you get you pay them monthly, no? monthly bank loans with interest. So you now have a long-term relationship with the bank. Yeah. So in real estate, let's put it in real estate context. In real estate, are you just selling and you close the deal? That's it? This is uh, what 64% of the agents are doing, actually. So don't do what the, 60, what the majority are doing. 
establish business relationship with your clients continues to give them update and ask, ask for referrals make them your referral partner so this is the this is what i practice in my profession i close more than yes tama uh, you know mentioned it right i close more than 3 billion and until now i'm still closing sales even at my age right now because i i i am a firm believer of business relationship i have more than 1000 clients right now since i started in, at that these 1,000 clients are all, are all organic, and this is where I get more clients. So let me repeat, so that you, you will be, so take note of this. Get more buyers from your buyers. And I'm sharing you some of my secrets now. Uh, to be honest, I didn't spend one peso in Facebook post mm -hmm. and all during my entire sales career. I don't post, I don't spend, uh, in, although you can do that, but for me, I didn't spend money on Facebook posts because all my sales came from my existing clients. And why? How did that happen? Because of this secret I'm sharing with you. I, I focus on business relationship, not transaction. So going back to the question, how uh, you're doing right now, uh, what you're doing to your clients, is it transactional or business relationship? You have no idea what one buyer or for example, a nurse working in the U.S. who bought a condo from you, you have no idea what other more referrals that they can generate from you. And this is what happened to me. All my buyers are continuously referring even up to this day. Okay, so that's the some, uh, quick tip for everybody. Okay, and to those of you who are performed, you know, congratulations to those who have performed. Uh, you will definitely reach your 1 billion sales. No? Every time I'm telling this, uh, you can close 1 billion. And then they'll say, what? I can close 1 billion? Wow. No, you can do it. You can close 1 billion sales. But don't forget this one, this quote. When you perform, whether you close 100 million, 500 million sales, don't let your past performance be your comfort zone. Okay, so whether you're an entrepreneur, you're closing deals, Challenge your, always challenge yourself to the next level because the the um, the enemy of uh, high performance is complacency. Okay, the enemy of of high performance sales is complacency. Oh, I already sold 100 million last month, so chill. So that's the that's how 94 percent of the behavior of the sales are. But my suggestion is don't. Even if you close 500 million sales now this month, then close another 500 million next month. Don't don't uh, stop performing because there's a difference between production and performance yes you produce 500 million sales for example for this month and then na chill kana <laughs> well that's not that's not i know performance um per performance is continuously closing more and more that's performance production is just basically you just put in the numbers so don't forget this one this is just a reminder to those who you will close a sales and i believe you close more sales don't stop because high performance is a 24 by 7 mindset in real estate. And of course, remember this, when your purpose is greater than your fears, remember this, no crisis can stop you. Yes, I am, we all agree there's a crisis happening right now. But would you believe a lot of Filipinos are still buying properties right now, even investors? Just a few weeks ago, I witnessed so many deals close. You see, in a crisis situation, those without property are in a disadvantage compared to those who have. That's the, rea the reality. That's why it, it became my mission. It became my deep desire to help people. I'm no longer selling. So don't, you have to change your mindset now. I'm not here to sell you. I'm here to ensure, ma'am, sir, that you and your family's future, financial future and rental or revenue or appreciation, capital appreciation, whatever whatever proposition you have, whatever happens, you are secured with a property, with a real estate property, ma'am. So that you say that with passion. So the, the, and the buyer will feel it. The buyers will feel it. Wow. So this is not just about money. You're concerned with me. Yes, yes, ma'am. This is not about you buying from me. Anymore. I'm here to make sure that you make the right decision, ma'am. And if your whatever your change is, let me help you out. Because remember, in selling real estate, this is the most important thing. Your, remember your purpose. Eh? If you once you realize that your purpose is greater than their fears or your fears, you can easily close the sale. Because remember, all buyers right now are in the state of uh, crisis right now. Even that's why they have the money to pay, they have the money to buy. They're they're still working abroad, and the investors are still there. But they are they have fears what will happen to the economy. So that 
So that's why your role, our job, is to bring back that confidence to those to those buyers, to yourself. It starts with you, and then you um, inspire them to invest. Because basically, we will all recover from this crisis. And when that happens, they will be proud that you convince them to invest a property. So that's the art of real estate selling in a in a simple manner. I'm sharing with you. Okay. And of course, some of you would ask, yes, sir, what happens if I tried and tried and they didn't buy a unit from me still? Okay, lang yan. That's, that's fine. Then go, go to the next buyer or ask for more referrals. Because no matter how many times you failed, remember this, you have the power to rise again. Just like this escalator I was in, uh, in Washington, D.C. last year during the pandemic. So when the, even if the escalator, even the escalator was like six floors in height, Six floors, ah, and then in the middle, bigla siya maghinto. You don't stop. You walk. Mm -hmm. Ganun lang. That, that's just like life. One step a day. One presentation a day. One step, you'll get up there. One presentation a day. One meeting, you will get there. Don't worry about it. You only fail if you quit. So don't forget that, ah. When you when you quit, that's the time it's done. But for as long as you haven't talked to all the buyers out there, your job, your mission is not yet over. Okay. And don't forget, you survived many crises in your life, just like me. I survived many financial and emotional crises in your life. So before the pandemic hit in 2020, you all know, five years ago, 10 years ago of your life, diba? I know each and every one of you, you all had personal challenges, but yet you survived. We're here. We're all here in this room right now. There's a reason why we all survived. You know? And um, I'm here to remind you, that you're like a lion, no? you're, you, you, you are a survivor, you survive. And because of this, um, you survived many crises in your life. Number one reason, because you were fearless. And I'm here to remind you that you are fearless. And when you are all here, you have a mission to fulfill, to continue. Okay, so don't forget, remember who you are. Because we're not here in this life just to live an okay life. It's, not, it's okay not to be okay. Okay lang yan. But it's not okay not to be okay forever. Right? Because we are here in this world, in this earth, for a reason. You are here why, you're, why we are all promoting real estate. So whether it's real estate or entrepreneur, whatever your mission is in life, we were all designed to perform. Like a Lamborghini. I see you like a Lamborghini. But even if you are all Lamborghini mindset right now, but if you have, uh, if your handbrakes are open, you know, handbrake, you see every car has a, has a handbrake. What happens if the handbrake is up? Even if you're a Lamborghini, I know you can perform 100 million sales, 1 billion sales, each and every one of you. I can see that. I can feel it. If, kaso, if you have this handbrake in your mind that's up, ano, na naka activate. No, but even if you're a Lamborghini, it's not gonna work. So I'm here. I'm here to help you release that handbrake that's stopping you inside your mind. So imagine, remove all the fears, the fear of rejection, the fear of meeting clients, the whatever fear that you're having right now. Imagine if you remove that fear, how limitless can you really be in sales? You want to ask diba, how, how to close billions of sales, right? This was the mindset that I had. I had to remove all that. And if you do the same, remove that handbrake, remove those, hand, those excuses, those fears that you had, you'll be surprised what you can really do. Okay? So don't forget, you were designed to perform. Okay? And the only way, I, I also mentioned this in, our, in my, my workshop sessions, the only way to achieve numbers is to deliver the numbers because numbers don't lie, my friends. If you ask me, sir, how do I close sales? Yeah, most common question, right? So the question is, what are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis? If I audit, if you audit yourself from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. in the evening, what are you doing every day on an hourly basis that contributes to your sales? Diba? Are you how many numbers of clients are you are you talking to over Facebook or Zoom or call? Diba? Because that number alone, the number of prospects that you have, it, it was the number of presentations you'll make and the number of sales you will generate. Yeah. So don't forget, if there are less numbers, then we get less results. You cannot change, you cannot annoy, you cannot uh, fake the numbers. I always I'm a firm believer of numbers. Yes, we're motivated. 
as as real estate agents and sales professionals, but you've got to understand that there are numbers that uh, contributes to the to the numbers of your success. For example, you want to achieve one one hundred million sales, then you've got to do numbers on a day to day basis, and then that's a lot of hard work, by the way, so that you can achieve the numbers that you want. So again, ah, huh? so the only way to achieve the numbers, the goal that you, that you like, if it's one billion sales. Then what are you doing every day, every hour that contributes to that one billion? And then you'll be surprised. Eh? What if you if you audit everything that you're doing, you'll be you'll be shocked that 99% of what you're doing is it contributing to your goals? Are you talking to the right people? Okay, so those are the, some of the questions I'd like to ask everybody. So don't forget. Now it's time to change that mindset. If you want to be a high performer, if you really want to go to the, one of the art of uh, real estate selling is to understand that everything you do has numbers that contributes to that. Yes, it's not just enough being motivated, but also doing, working hard to get the numbers done. And I, I assure you, if you have the ability to talk at least, um, in, in, my, in, my, in my case, my average schedule a day, I'm talking to like three to five Maximum of seven prospects a day, uh, seven, and then or pag wala kong schedule, I, I'm stressed. <laughs> Kailangan every day meron akong kausap, yeah. Because that 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 will help you. Eh. So I this is what I also share to everybody. Okay, so don't forget that one. And of course, I know medyo challenging ngayon, ayan ang mga crisis and everything. But uh, enough thinking muna. When there's a crisis, work hard. You know, I have this. I read one of one of the book. Eh. Uh, when uh, tough people don't last, tough times don't last, but tough people do. Uh -uh. So don't forget that. Uh, when there's a crisis, it's time to work hard. All right? So just take action and never give up. Kasi kung thinking ka lang thinking, what's going to happen in the future? What's going to happen to my sales? Wala na. You, what, di ba remember yung sinabi ko, whatever you believe will, will be reality. So I change my mindset. Eh. Kapag may crisis, that's the time we double double our effort, double work work hard, uh, because it's the only way to increase our income, to secure our family. So just keep taking action and never give up. For me, that's the key. You have a vision to yourself. You have you map. You got to make the hard decision and keep taking action and never give up until you hit your goal. I never give up until I hit my first billion. After my first billion, I hit the, the next, my second billion, my second year, and on my third year, I hit another three billion. And then before I reach 50, my goal is to hit my five billion sales. I never give up. Why? Because I want to help a lot of people. And I want you to do that same way. If you close one billion sales, everybody listening right now, all real estate professionals, whether you're a licensed broker or you're, you've been in real estate for more than 10 years or whether you're new, it doesn't matter. No, I was new then. You know? Remember McDonald's and I started. I had no experience before. Always take action and never give up until you hit your goal. Why? Because your purpose is to help a lot of people. We are the most fortunate people in this room right now because a lot of people are challenged right now financially. That's why I want you all to succeed. I want you all to close your billions and don't say it's not. It's impossible. Huh? I want you to close your billions because once you close your billion sales. Um, make this promise to yourself. Ano? This is good. This is my 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 request. Na lang. If, you, if you after you apply these techniques and insights I shared to you, and you close your first billion sales, please make it a point to help other our fellow Filipino people. Ha? Is, is it okay? Yeah. Hihingi lang ako. Whatever you can contribute to them in your from your heart. Tulungan natin sila. Okay. Well, because you are. There's a reason why we all exist. There's a reason why we are given this talent. We are we are in the real estate industry. And um, don't give up on them. Don't give up on what you're doing. You're helping the economy. You're helping people. You're helping uh, Filipinos abroad secure a property. And uh, during a crisis, they're not renting. Diba? They, are, they have their own. Okay, so never give up on them. Never give up on your clients. So, I'm going to Okay, and then uh, there, there are, in my 10 year, 15 years of experience, there are two things that I'm going to Only two. There are two statements that they always say. Buti na lang, Eric, nag-invest ako ng property noon. Thank you. Yan ang papag, di ba? I'm sure nakaka-relate kayo on this statement. Huh? Real life, ba? real talk, right? But there not, there's another um, section which they say, people, buyers will say, sana noon ako kumuha ng property, Eric. Sana kumuha ko sa inyo. You see? 
So it's also the same in real estate agents as well. Yes, in the art of real estate selling. Even agents are encountering this. Sana bumenta ako noon. Di ba? Hindi yung, di ba? Sana nagbenta ako noon. Hindi yung, di ba? Uh, buti na lang, bumenta ako ng marami noon. Di ba? That's why that's your, that should be your mindset as a sales. Uh, kung in, investors have regrets, so as sales, they have regrets as well. So I don't want you to have that regret. Regret for not selling enough. I want you to do your very best, whatever you have, whatever you can, so that at the end of the day, when we all retire, at the when we all retire, you looking back, you'll be proud of yourself saying, Buti na lang, I sold a lot of units during my time. Yan. Hindi ako nag-give up. Yan. Diba? Because mahirap kasi mabuhay ng full of regrets. You know? Wag na natin dagdagan yung regrets natin. And there's a, I, I've seen some of my colleagues as well before, um, they 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 have two statements eh. either they they were happy that they did their best and some of them had regrets so i don't want you to add to your regrets this is the perfect time we are in the um, in the time where the, even young millennials have the ability to become multimillionaires from selling real estate and despite the crisis filipinos are still buying properties yeah or there's the the, the market is still uh, uh, doing well in terms of uh, securing a property for their family and we'll get into that later, so I think question and answer. But don't forget these two statements. And I want you to choose the one on the left, okay? Buti na lang nag-invest ako ng property, okay? And, or buti na lang benta ako ng maraming properties, okay? And uh, one day, of course, if you all succeed, I'll be so happy. Kami ni Ino will be so happy. Because to close more investors, you need to be an investor. And this is... I know this is not everyone will tell you this now, but I'm going to tell this to you right now. Because if you close a lot of sales, 100 million, 500 million, you're a truck producer, congratulations. Pero in the, it's not enough. Eh. You've got to have your own property. Diba? There will be a time you've got to invest on your property. This is one of my secrets. Eh. I invest properties. I buy properties as well. Because when, I, when buyers ask me, and this is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm, I'm continuously closing sales because I can relate to the buyers. Eh? Uh, when they, people would ask me, uh, Eric, what do you think? Is it really good investment? Yes, because I have a property and I know, you know, I know, I know the feeling of having a property compared to those who have none. Because you got one day you will be an investor, all of you here, not just real estate sales, huh? but I want you to be a real estate seller slash investor. Okay. So that's that's my that's my goal for each and every one of you. That's why you need to perform to close billions of sales so that one day you'll buy your own property. So because you cannot sell something that you don't believe. Always remember that's as my mentor said. Okay, so to, and of course, when some clients would sell you, oh, eh, is it really good to buy property? Sabi nung kaibigan ko, nang kamag-anak ko, wag daw akong bumili ng property. Okay, fine. But what I say to my clients is, Mom, always remember this. I'm also a real estate investor. I have several rent rental properties right now, and I'm doing good. Oh, some of them might be affected ng contest, slight uh, lower rental rental rates. It doesn't matter. But when you re reduce the condo fees and all, I'm still uh, green. Pro profit pa rin. Cash flow, positive cash flow pa rin. So you see, ma'am, always listen to the advice of a real estate investor because, di ba? Not to brag, not to for anything, no. I just want to let them know that, especially kung first time yung kausap mong bibili ng property, I always tell them, I always tell this one, ma'am, it's okay to listen to others' opinion, but uh, may I suggest you listen to the opinion of those who are real estate investors. Because the advice of a real estate investor like you, kagaya natin, no, is different from those who have none. Okay, most likely, mga nagsasabing hindi maganda mag-invest, probably wala din sila or uh, I don't know. But for me, uh, real estate is something that works for me compared to other forms of investment, whether online investment, chan, whatever investment, it's something that I can sleep well at night. You know, the title is still there, my property is still there, and it's something I can, the ne and the next generation can enjoy. That's why when you make a goal, when you buy a property, you um you are, you are, uh, giving your you are setting your goals beyond your lifetime so when you buy a property ma'am sir you are preparing your lifetime gift and um uh, for the next generation for them to enjoy okay so that's so that's those are the key and last but not the least as we end our session um i know there's a recession right now uh, crisis right now and there are a lot of people um, uh, lost their jobs and all 
but um, don't give up. Okay, um, real estate is among the uh, areas that were not that quite affected because people are uh, working from home. The demand for buying properties are do, are okay, are still good. Uh, you just need to go out there and continuously encourage them because when we pray for our success, always be consistent in what you feel, in what you pray. Let your faith be as strong as your will. Okay, wag nating kontrahin yung prayers natin. Hindi pwedeng nagpe-pray tayo tapos you think negatively, right? You 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 see you don't see a future or something. It's okay to listen to the news as reference. You can check all the data, all the research you want. You can tell me all the ups and downs of the economy, but the, at the end of the day, it's your mindset that will determine what the future will be. Because the secret to success, uh, real estate success in eventually is um, believing in the future believing that we will all recover and plus your faith so make your faith consistent with your goals okay so i hope nakatulong to ating uh, share for this portion and um uh, to those of you who would like to uh, of course uh, follow you can I, 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 all these quotes are available on my website ericmanal.com and uh, my facebook as well and my linkedin you, all free all these articles are free please go to my website if you want more or no so that I can further inspire because I know we have limited time for, uh, um, but I, you can access all this for free. Okay. On my Facebook, LinkedIn and website. All right. So again, thank you so much. Maraming maraming salamat for that uh, wonderful session with you. And now we go to the most, uh, one of the most important factors of our topic right now, the question and answer portion with Eno. Thank you so much. I now exit the screen. Slide muna. Thank you, Back to Eno. Um, Trating ako kasi yung mga notes ko, mukhang marami-rami ako itatanong. Eh. Baka di makatanong <laughs> ibang tao. Eh. Wait lang. <laughs> oh, Pero, I know. I know. So, sobrang ano, sir. I guess um, I can start with, I just want to say there's there's a lot of things um, in, in, in all of the slides that you presented that are value bombs. I mean, I've I've seen a lot of, of, of influencers, supposed influencers. I've seen a lot of experts. And yung mga... Yung mga sinabi niyo sir echoes even with the even with the Gary Vaynerchuks of the world even with the you know with with the Neil Patels of the world yung yung the the, the principles of what you said are are spot on sir so i guess um, i just want people to to kind of absorb that and, and internalize that because it's it really is is something else um but yeah i guess we can go through the Q&A portion now. So again, for those who are in Facebook, for those who are in Zoom, please type in your, your questions and we'll go through them um, one by one. I guess we can start with, we have here one question from Ms. Saludu. Um, sige, start na natin to. In your, in your personal choice, sir, um, which type of real estate do you want to invest in? for value appreciation and ROI? Is it a condo? Is it a house and lot? Or is it just a lot? Yung mga ganon, sir. Ah, okay. Yeah, thank you for that question. No, no, I love that question. So again, uh, it's all. it all goes back to, you see, selling properties because it's about, it's not about us, eh? it's about them. It's about them, their story, that, you con that they connect to their success story. What would help them succeed uh, when they buy a property. That's how I view things. So let's say, you. I always believe in this. Write this down, please, and everybody, if you would like to take note, if you will. Um, know your market. Don't forget that. Know your market. So whenever you're approaching a client, I always get, the first few minutes, I get to know them first. I know them, get to know them. Uh, is it in use? Do they want to, uh, are they still renting? Uh oh so are they are they working abroad they don't go to the philip are they immigrants abroad who just wants to buy a property for vacation or i that's the first step i get to know them first and then from there i i offer the solution to the problem to their problem uh, it's always about solving their problem uh, if they don't have a property yet then and there's a crisis it's always best to have a fully paid property in the philippines it doesn't matter if it's a, a big property purchase or a small one how important is it that they have a unit that they can use and me um, sila or a condo uh, oh, if that is the requirement. If the requirement is different, let's say, oh, I'm good here in the U.S. I just want to buy uh, some rental properties in the Philippines, and then that's that's another situation. Uh, that you then you give them the best proposition in terms of location and um, amenities and where their potential growth for tenants as well. Okay, know your market. 
know your market. Actually, sir, ang ganda nun. Piggyback lang ako dun kasi, um, so when I was just starting out and, and diving into marketing, there's this what they call buyer persona. Um, mm-hmm. it, what basically is, is you're trying to put yourself in your um, in your buyer's shoes, kumbaga. You're trying mm-hmm. to put yourself in your audience's shoes so that you can you can tell them the the exact things that they need to 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 uh, no, to, to hear kumbaga um you can tell a lot of things to other people but if they're not the right audience then you know mm-hmm. it's just gonna go over their heads yes so yun mm-hmm. thank you for that i love the question okay. I, i guess we could go to the next question now from miss caroline or carolyn um What can you say about Uy, ganda na to, ah. Parang gusto ko rin mag dito ah. What can you say about people who believe that selling is a form of begging? That's why they don't want to sell. Gandang question nun ah. Sige sir, um, what are your thoughts about that? Yes, remember remember the quote I mentioned to everybody? Self-worth is the key to net worth. So, which means you if if you believe that that is the mindset no that they're begging you know? a sales is like begging profession diba kaya nga maraming ayaw mag sales eh diba maraming to be honest kasi they feel na parang to parang nang begging ang approach mo no no you got to assert yourself you got to believe in yourself that this what we're doing is a noble profession it's we're helping people inspiring people to to have an investment and uh, from there from that self worth you will have um your network it's like a Write this down, please. If you if you may, you put this put it, write this down. It's what you call um, uh, build your expertise, become an expert, see yourself as an expert, not a beggar or something. Wag yung mindset. It's okay if they would think of you that way, but don't accept that mindset, di ba? Kasi pag tayo mismo tinanggap mo, uh, ayaw ko diyan kasi ganyan kayo, di ba? Ah, oo, baka tama ka nga. <laughs> no, kailangan iba, don't mawala na respect nila sa iyo wag lang mawala respect mo sa sarili mo don't forget that ha nobody wants to sell real estate sa totoo lang until they close until they earn their first million di ba you know subukan mong kumita ka na 1 million every month sige <laughs> tingnan natin kung hindi i'm real estate forever di ba pero pag you know at saka even even sometimes your family your parents your spouse probably sabi sir paano to hindi ako sinusuport ng family ko di ba ganun eh yan ang mga number one na encounter ko eh Anak, bakit ka nag-real estate? Pinag-graduate kita, tapos real estate ka lang, naging ahente. Di ba? But we cannot blame other people what they think about the profession. Eh. But that's why you got to perform para mapatunay mo sa kanila that you will succeed. Di ba? Nobody, wants to, nobody will support you in selling real estate until they see you succeed. Oh, anak, tuloy, tuloy mo pa yan. Uh, Mami, naka, naka-close naman ako ng 10 million last week. Ah, sige, anak, tuloy mo lang, anak. Sige, okay lang, okay lang yan. <laughs> Sigurado yan. yan. <laughs> you know, ganun lang yun eh. You know, that's why you got to succeed. Don't let other people drag you down. Okay? Go for it. Help others. Succeed. Succeed. So that right. you will influence. That's the only way to influence them. Yeah. I had that same ganda scenario. Ang ganda nun, sir. Kasi, oh. na, na, Actually, I think mas ano rin eh. Share ko lang din, sir. I think um, mas nakita ko naman yung ganong mentality from other people sa BPO, sa call center. Marami. Especially when when the industry was just starting out, people would say, ay, call center ka lang. Mm, ay, ganyan I ka know. lang. Um, yeah. At, diba? I mean, I'd rather work than not earn money. So, I, mm, I so know. I guess, actually, sir, ano, um, itipigiba ko lang din yung, yung sinabi nyo kanina. Um, it's, it's, Uh, thinking about how to improve it's um it's the constant um ano what, what what word am i looking for it's the, it's the constant sort of struggle you know, to 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 improve kasi most people think success in all aspects so kunare business success or financial success it happens overnight like people who who look at let's say the billionaires of the world would think na oy baka sandali lang nila nakuha yan or Um, ganto lang yan but they don't know that overnight successes took 10 years to make right like people people would only see the results din nila nalaman din nila makikita kung what got you there and um i saw this quote before na it's purpose over passion mm. it's um pa- passion is fleeting kasi passion is when you when you watch let's say the pursuit of happiness and then 
na-inspire ka kay Will Smith and then say mo, okay, sige, game, gawin na natin to. After two weeks, your passion may not be there anymore. Mm-hmm. And then wala na, hindi mo na siya tinutuloy. But if you focus yourself on your purpose, let's say with you, sir, your purpose isn't to earn. It's to help people. And earning yes. becomes the... the Earning becomes a side result of that. It's not the main. It's not the main purpose. Mm, so, mm. by 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 being true with your purpose, um, you earn more, mm. right? I mean, it's hindi siya yung hindi hindi end point yung pera, end point yung pagtulong. The money That's comes. Right. The, the money yeah. comes next. That's right. Uh, let me give you an example. Ah, mga top uh, real, top CEOs in the world. You know, one of my favorites is Steve Jobs. You know, yeah, Steve Jobs of Apple. Tignan mo siya ha. He started Apple in a garage of his dad. Wala pang billion sang Apple noon ha. And he had no idea kung bebenta ba yung gagawin niyang Apple eh. Yung uh, from the iPhone and iPad. But he had passion and purpose. He firmly believed that this product will be bought by everybody. Sipin mo, napaka-bold no? Even if it's not yet happening, you've got to believe it firmly. Before the, before the billions will come in, you've got to believe in the billions. Kasi hindi yun ang, that, that's why purpose is something that I want to emphasize to everybody. When you're selling real estate, don't just look at the money. Look at your purpose. Make it your purpose, your passion, so that it, be, it becomes your passion. Kasi what's the difference between purpose and passion? Passion is something that you like it now, doing it now. But purpose is something long-term. Long-term yan. Na, yun ang end goal mo eh. I want to inspire, I want to help all Filipinos to invest a property in the Philippines. Yan ang purpose. And the, the day-to-day, even if it's hard, you will you will make it. You will close sales. You will you will go, you're going to make it. And with the support of uh, Acquire, with your uh, online payment portal, you can you is they can easily collect, you know, collected whether for uh, one million or five million down, uh, payment. No, it, it, it all boils down. It all connects it. It all connects. Right, sir. I agree. I agree. Um, okay. Well, I guess. Um, Uh, Ms. Caroline, I hope that answers your question. We have another question here, actually, from Sir Nico, and I think this is a this is a really good question too. Um, so obviously, we are in a pandemic. Uh, none of none of us right now have ex- ever experienced this before. So um, this is kind of new territory for for everyone. That said, uh, Nico is asking, what do you think are you, some of the biggest challenges as a real estate professional? Um, today, uh, especially during this pandemic, what are their biggest challenges to sell sell units? Uh, thank you for that. Uh, there are two answers to that question. Eh. Number one, kasi is the, the hindi naman talaga ang challenge dito ang market. Eh. The challenge here is us, your mind, our mind. Eh. We think that there's a crisis right now. But sabi nga ni Robert Kiyosaki, one of my mentors, no, Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. Sabi the crisis is in your mind lang. Oh, you know, you know, take, uh, remove all the the current situation right now, but it's not affecting us by health or also mentally. So if the sales agent is affected mentally, medyo mahihirapan tayo. That's why ang pinaka, the greatest challenge that we have right now is the mind. Eh? So I'm here to remind everybody that you you can do it. We can do, we can pull this together. The market is out there. They're just also they're also scared. But sino mo dapat mauna, di ba? Who will ha- somebody has to make the first move, and the first move should be the the, the sales professional. Tayo dapat muna. We have to believe in the market, believe in the real estate, diba? that this we will overcome this. Uh, if you met me 20 years ago when I was working in McDonald's, for example, you don't see me. Pero mga par, you have no idea na magiging real estate ako no closer at the time. Eh. But what made what made me decide is because I I I was fearless. Yan take note ah. Be, be fearless, my friends. That's the only way to overcome fear, to be fearless. So even though wala akong experience in real estate, I went out my comfort zone from that uh, stable job and really worked hard to find out how to how to improve my skills. Uh, because my passion or my purpose is greater than my fears. Pag ganun ang mindset mo, gagawin mo anything. Uh, to change, in order to change, there are two ways. There are two ways to change. One is you make the decision. I'm going to do this to serve other people. So whether it's acquire or my business or sales, I'm going to do this. Dapat ganun ng mindset eh. But if that is not but if that's absent, there's another way we can find our potential and when other people believe in us. Uh-oh. Because before wala nang iniwala sa akin. Aba kung makikita niyo ako noon, McDonald's tapos eh kukunin niyo ako sa real estate. Malamang hindi niyo ako i-hire, di ba? 
pero merong isang tao na niwala sa akin eh, you know. My my mentor, he believed, no, Eric. Eric, naniniwala ako. Kagaya ng ginagawa ko sa inyo yan. I'm paying it forward. Naniniwala ako bawat isa sa inyo. 54 in the room right now. You can do this. You are more than 10. I not I don't see you like 10 times more. I see you 1000 times more. Go out there and help people. Go out there and inspire them to buy. Meron kasi ganoon nagsabi sa akin din Inu eh. Eric, kaya mo maging speaker. Sir, hindi ko hindi ko kaya. Ako mismo hindi naniniwala sa sarili ko eh. 'Yun ang problema eh. Lahat tayo rito may ganoon eh. Tayo mismo ang problema eh. We don't believe in ourselves eh. So, but there there are people that will come in your life who will believe in you and then you start believing yourself. Wow, kaya ko pala mag-business. Wow, kaya ko pala magbenta ng real estate. Di ba? Let me ask you this question. Lahat kayo na dito sa room na to, 54? Oh, itong tanong ko sa inyo. Let me prove it to you. Hindi ba whether you're, before you started in real estate, whether it's last year or five years ago, di ba wala naman tayong alam sa real estate? Everybody in this room, five, ten years ago. Remember those days, wala kang alam sa real estate, but when you made the decision, or probably someone invited you, may naniwala sa inyo, and tingin mo nakabenta ka ng a few units, right? So you never know your potential until you try or someone believes in you. The question is, ano pang hindi nyo nalalaman sa sarili nyo? What else na hindi mo pa? You, sabi nga, there's, it's like an iceberg. Eh. 10% you know your talent. 90% you, you have no idea how limitless you are. Kasi tayo mismo kumukontra sa sarili natin. Eh. I'm, I'm a millennial. I'm senior. I'm old already. I have no experience. Yan. Can you follow? Ang galing yung boundaries, no? Sir? Yes. Ang galing yes, limitations. Yes. Yes. So, yan yung number one, the first part. To be to be a successful real estate professional, you've got to remove those barriers. Eh. And the second part is learn skills. Never ending on learning skills. Try to learn everything. If you apply everything which we have learned from this session, ay nako, I'm telling you, it will help, it will change your, it will change your reality. Madali na yung projects. Eh. Second na yung project, payment term, locate. Madali na yun. Pag ang agent ay walang motivation to sell, forget it. Yeah. But I'm here to remind you, Imagine mo, 54. Imagine if you become billionaire sellers, you close you close sales and you earn millions from real estate. Marami ba kayo matutulong ng tao? Tell me honestly. Yes. Marami. Gusto mo, you want to make an impact to the world? To the, to, diba? Ganyan ang mga millennials, they want to make an impact, whatever it is. Diba? Ano ba yung impact na yan? O sige. This is your chance. This is your chance to do something right. If, diba? Para 10 years from now, pag lahat tayo nag-retire na, You won't have any regrets, di ba? Oh, oh, may crisis. I know there's a crisis, but don't make it an excuse not to perform your very best because people are counting on you. Write this down. Kapag kayo ay umaman, marami kayo matutulungan. Yan ang moto ko sa buhay. Yan lang. Nothing about for me anymore. It's about other people na. Uh, but when you start to think of other people na, tignan nyo, magbabago lahat. Whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're in business, Uh, whether in sales, it will change your mindset. Maniwala kayo. Right. And you will never quit. Not for yourself, ha? other people na lang. For your family, for your friends, and for those. For example, ito lang. Pag, uh, nung nagkaroon ng pandemic sa era namin sa ano, walang, walang ayuda. <laughs> o, di, ako, nagpa, ako nagpa-ayuda. <laughs> Nagpamigay ako ng sako-sakong rice. And I'm, not, I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm fearless. Why? Because I can do it. And that's why I want everybody 54 ano to, 55 in the room. Pwera kami ni Ino. 54 in the room. I want you to succeed. I want you to close sales. Huwag kalimutan niyo na muna yung, you know, those sadness in your mind. Because people, there are a lot of people struggling, right? If you realize how lucky you are, if you only realize what your potentials are, I'm telling you right now, marami kayo matutulong ang Pilipino. Okay? So, Basta pangako nyo lang sa akin. Pag kumita naman kayo ng million sa real estate, eh huwag nyo naman kalimutan yung mga kababayan natin. Ha? Magpamigay naman kayo ng konting bigas or bahala na kayo. <laughs> Basta Pay meron kang pangbigay. Forward, no, sir. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. All right. So, yeah. I hope nakatulong yung in- insights na yun. Mm-hmm. Actually, sir, um, gusto ko lang din, uh, I just want to say na sobrang galing nun, sobrang ganda nung principle na yun. Because although we're talking about real estate selling now, I'm sure people might have realized already all of the principles that we've talked about, all of the principles that you've shared with us are definitely applicable outside real estate selling. As in, oh, yeah. right, they're, they're, they're foundational, they're fundamental truths about ourselves that can help us grow, that can help us become more successful in whatever venture we want. Real estate selling, business, startups, marketing, sale. If you follow those principles, um, success becomes inevitable. 
Um, right? So, actually, sir, I guess, uy. 11.50s pa lang. I can cap out the uh, last two questions. Ang bilis ang oras. Bilis. <laughs> All right. Actually, sir, um, I guess we can do last two questions. Um, and I'll make this um, two parts na rin. Or, so, so last, last question pala, two parts. Uh, so most of the questions that we've been having right now is to how to close sales, right? Ano magandang bilhin? Paano ka mag-close mag ng sale? I guess my, my my question right now is after the fact, after the sale took place already, and this is piggybacking on on what you said earlier, sir, uh, about uh, relationships, not transactions. Um, how do you think, how important is having an after-sale strategy? And the second, um, second question, the follow-up question there is, what are good strategies what are your like what are the after sales strategies that you've used um before you know that gave you significant results so how important mm -hmm. is sales strategy and what are your tips for after sales strategy oh thank you for that uh for example in my case no so lahat na nabentahan kong uh, unit owners more than 1000 yon 1000 unit owners na nabentahan ko Eventually, because of my excellent service for them, you know, I set up a Facebook group, Messenger, or meron coming, uh, all my clients are also in my Facebook. So, meron coming instant access to each other. So, that's one, that's one of my simple structure that you can do. You can apply it right now. Uh, mga WhatsApp or Viber. Yeah, meron ako mga ganun. Meron kaming communication. O, ma'am ha, ano pong concern nyo sa developer? Nandito rin po ako hindi po ako mawawala sa inyo. O oh, sige. And then pag birthday greeting, um, may occasion or, you know, I keep, I keep posting na pag-uwi ng Pilipinas or they have a chance to visit or even a Zoom session like this. And even, you know, even yung minsan na, na the down sila, no? na jo emotional down. Tatawag ako, ma'am, kamusta po? Uh, Mama, basta I'm here po. I'm here to listen. Ano po, I, I know you're encountering some mental challenges out there in Europe, in London. Ma'am, nandito lang po ako ha. Yan. So nagiging para kang counselor. So this is, alam mo, and, and through the years, nagiging kakaroon ka ng good working relationship. And uh, eventually, mag-refer pa siya sa'yo ng marami. Oo, oh, ang dami-dami. And uh, you just have to be ready. And then upon, hanggang turnover, again, to ako, ah, this is what I do. Hanggang turnover na unit, I'm there. Hanggang pagbukas ng susi, basta time will allow, nandun din ako. I was there. And uh, until rental nung kanyang property. I mean, that, that's why I started my own uh, leasing company <laughs> that uh, brought about this. Eh, because lahat ng bumili sa akin ay pinahandle pinaha din sa akin. This is the power of, um, of uh, taking care of your customers. Uh, getting more buyers from them yeah. it's um again i just want to piggy i just want to piggyback on that and emphasize on it relationships not transactions build the relationship because because to be honest sir i just want to share then siguro for us in in, in quick and, and acquire that's that's our guiding principle regardless of of who we talk to regardless if it's real estate agents if it's vp of whatever if it's the unit owner um Parehas tayo, sir, eh. Kasi it's, it's giving value, not, not transactional. It's, it's, it's how you give value and what kind of value you give that people will, will remember you the most. Hindi yes. naman yung, yung transactional na natinulungan mo siya tapos-tapos na. Mm -hmm. oh. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a continuous thing. Oh. Um, sobrang galing nun. Actually, sir, uh, ano, uy, sakto, saktong 12 p.m. na pala. Um, Sobrang bilis ng oras. Di ko, di ko napansin yun. Uh, it's, it's really great talking to you, sir. And it's really great catching up with you. Um, it's, I, I've learned so much and I hope, I hope our, our, our audiences in Facebook and in Zoom has learned too um, from, from you. And um, hopefully we could have you again, sir, in, in succeeding episodes and future episodes. Yes, if time will permit, yes, uh, it's an honor to be uh, your guest and to meet all of you at the mga, oh, 54 audience. Yeah, nandito pa rin sila, oh, 54. <laughs> uh, that our future bil billionaire, uh, ating future billionaire sellers. Uh, yan ang mission nyo, ha? Yan ang assignment nyo sa amin. Sell your one billion pa. sales. So be fearless. <laughs> be fearless. Uh, all right. Well, yes. um, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Sir Eric, for 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 the, the value of bombs that you've shared. We'll have uh, the the tenth episode for Acquire Live 
in the coming weeks. So please follow her pages. Please follow her Eric Manalo's page. You could go to Facebook and and um, search for his pages. That's Eric Manalo. And you could also go to our page, Acquire. So that's A-Q-W-I-R-E for more updates, more infos. And yeah, and, and I guess that's it for us. So thank you very much for, for being here. And hopefully we can see you again in the coming episodes. Thank you, everyone. God bless you all. Stay safe. All the best. Stay safe. Bye. Market. One major question always comes to mind. How do I receive international payments? You see, paying for a property in the Philippines is never simple, especially if the payment comes from overseas. The process only becomes more complicated. But what if there's an easier way? Introducing Acquire. Acquire is a global real estate solution that helps property developers collect payments from anywhere in the world. Through Acquire, you can now accept payments via debit or credit card, bank transfers, mobile payments, and more all in one platform. Here's how we do it. Step 1. We build your own payment portal with all the required fields you want your buyer to fill out. Step 2. Well actually, there's no step 2. Because once your portal is up and running, your buyers can now pay anytime and anywhere using different payment methods. Oh, and did we mention? This is all for free. So do you want to know more? Send us an email now at support at acquire.io. Acquire, global real estate solutions.